Hello everyone, my name is Hyo True and today I'm going to walk you guys through how to install Immersive Dispatch to your LSPDFR. <music> first thing you're going to want to do is look down in the description below, grab your first link that you see in the description. This will bring up the web page right here that says Immersive Dispatch. So, as you can see here, this plugin strives to make talking to dispatch as immersive and realistic as possible without actually having a real person. Functionality can be accessed through a menu, default key is L, and through voice using Grammar Police. This does require Grammar Police, so if you haven't installed Grammar Police, make sure you look at one of my most recent videos, one or two videos ago, and you'll be able to know how to install Grammar Police if you haven't already. So, first thing you're going to want to do, just hit download this file, agree and download. Make sure you are downloading the main file, the newest one at the time, so whatever version is the newest. So for me at this time, it is going to be the version 1.1.2.0. So download this file, let that begin to install. Once it pops up here, you can save, save as, or open. Personally, I say open, as it will not uh, download it and take up storage. So you're going to want to open OP Immersive Dispatch file here. This will bring up LSPDFR plugins and region native UI. Now what you want to do is bring up your Internet Explorer. Go to whatever drive you have it installed on. So for me it's going to be my C drive. Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common. And here is all your games you've installed on that drive, including your GTA. So excuse my name and what I just did there. Got to find where I dragged that into now. Here it is. If you ever do that, I'm just going to walk you guys how to do that. If you ever do that, simply all you got to do is basically you just got to drag it straight back out. So you can drag it straight back out. If you see here, you can go straight back out to common. So if you go back. I'll be back there. So yeah, excuse what I just did. So I'm gonna, you want to find whatever file you're using a GTA, and then so I'm gonna be using this one. Excuse the name, Popo. Uh, it's just shortened for my mod menu. Uh, I don't know why I just felt like it. So now you've done that, obviously make sure you have your um, grammar police installed. So simply, all you're gonna want to do, highlight, drag, and drop. Excuse me, just sneeze in there. It's going to ask you to replace RageNativeUI.dll. Yep, click replace this file. And you've now successfully installed Immersive Dispatch to your LSPDFR. I just want to say thank you guys for sticking around. I have missed five or six days of uploading. That's purely because I just wanted a little break. But I'm back in here with some LSPDFR videos. Some tutorials. I am hopefully going to be able to get some LSPDFR real videos out to you. Of patrolling around. I just got to sort out my mic volume. <laughs> Excuse me, and my game volume. That's all I gotta do, and I'll be able to get a video out for you guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.